Hello, my name is Bo, and today I'm going to be showing you InterVLAN routing. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you what is called router on a stick InterVLAN routing. Traditional InterVLAN routing has a separate physical trunk link to the router for each VLAN. So with this router on a stick variant, we can reduce the amount of physical hardware we need and reduce physical complexity of the links themselves. This tutorial assumes you already understand what VLANs are, have a firm grasp on the concepts of routing, and understand VLAN trunking and Cisco's IOS. We're going to be using Packet Tracer to demonstrate commands and network topology, as well as simulate and test our setup. So as you can see here, we have a small network already set up. Here we have three computers connected to three switches. For those of you not familiar with Packet Tracer, link status is indicated by the circle on either end of the links. Notice that currently the links for all the computers are green while some of the links for the switches are orange. Green indicates that links are active while orange means that links are disabled. Red means that the router or the switch port is in shutdown mode. So right now in our network, the switches and router are set up with passwords and basic setups. Switch 1 is both the VTP server and the spanning tree root bridge. Notice that the links from S2 to S3 are in shutdown, or rather, they are disabled. This means that unless another link goes down, traffic from the computers connected to S2 with, will go through S1 and be forwarded to R1 when the router is fully set up. Notice also that all the PCs are set up with an IP address and default gateways. As you can see from the tables, each default gateway is the dot one address. Knowing what we want our default gateway to be for traffic going outside of the VLAN will be useful for later. Now that you know the network setup a bit, it's time to explain the goal. We want our sales, marketing, and guests to be able to communicate with each other and the server. With our current setups, VLANs are completely isolated from each other. What we will do is instead of having a separate trunked link for each VLAN, we would require additional, which would require additional ports on both the router and the switch, we will create what are known as sub-interfaces on our fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. Notice, note that a device called a layer 3 switch can perform the same functions of a router in this scenario. A sub-interface is a virtual interface within the physical interface, allowing multiple connections through one physical link. This method of inter-VLAN routing can reduce hardware costs and complexity. So let's go ahead and set up our sub-interfaces. To specify which sub-interface we wish to configure, we must enter the interface fa0.0.10 command from configure terminal mode while in enable mode. So we'll go ahead and show you that right now. So here in Packet Tracer we have our physical where you can see what kind of cards and interface connections we can use, our config tab, and our command line interface. So right now we have couple of interfaces and we'll go ahead and enter our password here go into enable mode enter another password for that and here we have our router let's go ahead and go into configure terminal mode and note that I'm going to be using some abbreviations for these commands since Cisco's iOS allows you to do this so here in configure mode we want to so we'll type in the command interface 0 slash 0 dot 10 and this command will allow us to configure our sub interface for the VLAN 10 in our network. Note that you have to enter the right command to configure your interface. So here's our sub interface. Note that here it says config sub if instead of config if like it would normally say. So now you know you're in a sub interface here. And what we want to do is we want to enter the command encapsulation dot one q and then ten. So what that command did 
was it set the encapsulation type that the link uses to dot one q for the VLAN 10. And note that you can display what each command has a subcommand for with the question mark. So I can show you that in cap you can set dot one q. There's also ISL on different versions of routers. So if we select dot one q we can also show that we can select our VLAN ID and that was 10. After that you can tell it if this is the native VLAN. This is not the native VLAN, so we won't set that for right now. We also need to set our IP address. Now, our IP address is going to be the default gateway for our PCs here. And for VLAN 10, our default gateway is 192.168.10.1. So we go ahead and set our IP address. And that is our sub-interface for VLAN 10. I'll go ahead and set up VLAN 20 and 30 as well. And for that we use the same command. Except we add 20 to the end of that. All right, and finally, for our VLAN 99, or our management VLAN, we want to do the same thing as before, int fa0 slash 0 dot 99, and this time we want to do encapsulation dot 1q 99, and then we add native to make sure it knows that it's the native VLAN, and our IP address again. And now, if you'll notice the links haven't come up, what you need to do once having entered all these commands is go into the int fa0 slash 0 interface. You don't set an IP address on this interface, you just make sure that it's not shut down as it currently is. So, no shutdown. And notice that the link, including all of our sub-interfaces, have come up here. Also note that in our topology behind it, that the links between switch 1 and router 1 are currently negotiating and are going to turn green. So we'll get out of this, save our config, and note that it just turned green here. So to test our setup, we'll go into PC1 and use its command prompt to ping different things across our network. The first thing I'll ping is, of course, the most important, the server. Now, as you can see, the request is timing out, and then it finds its route and gets there. We can also ping other PCs on different VLANs now. And again, it has to go and find the route for each one of these. Now, you have successfully set up inter-VLAN routing using the router on a stick method with sub-interfaces. This is Bo Wallace. Uh, thank you for watching.